Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the Pegasus token using Trust Wallet and PancakeSwap. I'm going to be showing you guys step-by-step -step how to purchase BNB on Binance, transfer it over to your smart chain wallet on your Trust Wallet, and then swap it for the Pegasus token. And just to let you guys know as well, I do have daily cryptocurrency tutorials coming out, showing you guys how to sell, how to buy, and more within the crypto space. So if you guys are interested in cryptocurrencies, be sure to subscribe to the channel, as I'll have lots of things coming out into the future. Anyhow, to buy the Pegasus token, just stay tuned, and I'll show you guys exactly what to do. The first step that you guys want to do is you guys want to download Trust Wallet from the App Store. So just head over to the App Store and type in Trust Wallet. So I'm going to head over here, search, then just search for Trust Wallet. And it'll just be this first one right here, Trusts, and then the Crypto and Bitcoin Wallet. So you just want to download that first. Then obviously you want to make sure that you have Binance or Coinbase or an exchange of some sort. Uh, and then create accounts on Binance, which is pretty straightforward. Most of you guys probably already have that or at an exchange that you guys at least have access to. Uh, so I'll just leave that as it is. So just make sure you guys download the Trust Wallet first. Uh, once you guys do that, you can exit out of here and open up Trust Wallet. You'll then be greeted with this right here to create a new wallet. So you're going to want to go ahead and click on Create a New Wallet. And that's just going to let you know here that you have to back up your wallet now. And you will see 12 words that allows you to recover your wallet in the next step. So you just got to click on the bottom here that I understand that if I lose the recovery words, I will not be able to access my wallet. So it's very, very important that you guys do not lose these words or else you will lose access to your wallet. And I do not recommend taking a screenshot either. I recommend just writing it down on a piece of paper and putting it in a safe place. Uh, anyhow, you just want to click on I understand for that and then continue. Then here is your 12 words that you cannot show anyone or anything like that. I'm obviously not going to use this account. That's why I'm okay showing it. Uh, but these are the words that you guys want to write down and keep them in a safe place or else you could lose all your cryptocurrencies that you have in your wallet. Very, very important. Uh, anyhow, once you're done writing this stuff down, you can click on continue. And then you have to put the words in here to verify the recovery phrase. So just make sure you guys go ahead and do that. And then once you guys put those words in and in the right order, you will see this message here that your wallet was successfully created. That's exactly what you want to see. So you just want to go ahead and click on, on OK here. And then what you guys want to do next is you want to transfer over BNB or Smart Chain here. So you're going to have to go to an exchange that you either can purchase BNB or Smart Chain or you already have some in. So I'm just going to show you guys Binance, for example. So we're just going to exit out of here and head over to Binance Exchange. And what you guys want to do on here is you want to either purchase BNB or uh, you could trade it from another crypto into it. So uh, if you guys don't have anything in here yet, you guys first want to obviously create an account on Binance, but I'm going to assume you guys have already done that. Uh, so once you guys are done doing that, you just want to go to a deposit option here. So whether it's a bank transfer or a Visa or MasterCard, you can go ahead and click on that. Once you guys are in here, you guys can just go over to where it says buy. And you just want to switch this over to BNB. And then you just want to choose the amount from your native currency that you guys want to transfer into uh, BNB. So let's just say if I wanted to do $500, I can type in $500 and then it will give me 0.73 BNB. Now, if you're okay with this, you can just click on continue at the bottom and then it will go into your Binance wallet. Now to withdraw your BNB, you just want to go over to the bottom right corner where it says wallets. Click on that. Then you just want to scroll down until you find BNB. Once you guys find BNB here, you just want to go ahead and click on it. Then you want to click on withdraw. What you guys want to do now is you guys want to exit out and back over to your trust wallet. Click on the smart chain. And then you want to click on receive, copy. And this was going to copy the address for the trust wallet. Now you're going to want to put the BNB into the smart chain because it's going to be a lot easier just to quickly transfer it into the coin that you guys are looking for. Uh, so yeah, just transfer the BNB over to the smart chain just like I did here. So you just want to back out of here back over to Binance, and then you want to click on address and paste that address right here. Now, I already have it in my whitelist, so I can just click on it, but you guys are just going to want to paste it up at the very top there. Uh, now, what you guys want to do is you guys want to click on network, and just make sure it is on the BEP20 right here that mine is on. You just want to click on confirm for that, and then you want to click on the amount that you want to transfer. So if you want to transfer all of your BNB, you just click on max, or you can click on the amount that you want to type in and just type in the amount that you want. Once you guys do that, you just want to click on withdraw at the bottom here. Once you guys click on withdraw, it should only take about a couple minutes to go over to your trust wallet. So we'll just give that a couple minutes and then you just want to head back over to your trust wallet. And once you guys have your BNB in your smart chain wallet on your trust wallet, I just want to let you guys know as well that just make sure you have it in your smart chain wallet, whether you purchase BNB from Binance or another exchange, or you just purchase BNB inside of trust wallet, because I'm aware of it. That is an option as well. Uh, it's not available for me personally, but I know a lot of people do purchase BNB right on Trust Wallet. If that is the case and you have your BNB in your BNB wallet here and not your smart chain wallet, all you guys have to do is click on BNB, click on more, 
and then you can swap to smart chain right on the bottom there so just make sure that you have your bnb in your smart chain or else you will not see it in pancake swap and you won't be able to swap it uh, anyhow what you guys have to do to purchase the pegasus token at this point is just copy the contract address over from bsc scan into trust wallet and i'll have a link in the description for you guys to do that all you guys have to do is go over to the BSC scan link that I have in the description, scroll down, and then you want to copy the contract address that you see right here under profile summary. So let's go ahead and click on those two squares to copy it. And then you want to head back over to Trust Wallet. Once you're back in Trust Wallet, you just want to navigate to the top right of your screen where you see the two lines and the two circles. Just go ahead and click on that. And then in the top search portion there, you can go ahead and click on that and paste that code that we got from the BSC scan into here. And then we just want to enable that and click on done. Once you guys do that, you will have to add the browser to the bottom of your screen. So if you guys already have the browser on the bottom of your screen here, you can go ahead and skip a little bit of this video. Uh, but if you don't, you just have to go to the second link I have in the description. It'll be over to Trust Wallet Support website. And basically what that will show you is just show you three steps that you guys will have to follow to get your DApp browser enabled. So if we just scroll down here, you can see it says Trust Browser Enabled. Just go ahead and click on that link. It will then pop open a pop-up here asking you to open up in Trust Wallet. So just go ahead and do that and then your browser will then appear in your Trust Wallet. So just make sure you guys have that set up and you have your browser accessible. But once you guys have that browser accessible, you can go ahead and click on Browser and then go over to PancakeSwap. Now, if this is your first time in PancakeSwap, you will have to connect your wallet and you'll see your ID up there at the top when it is connected. To connect your wallet, just go up to the top where you see the connect button. I'll have a red circle around it as well. So just go ahead and click on that and then click on Trust Wallet and then you will see your wallet ID appear at the top. Now, uh, you just have to go over to where your balance is and just make sure that your balance is in there. And like I said before, just make sure your BNB is in your smart chain wallet or else it will not show in here. Uh, but once you guys have a balance there and your BNB is in your smart chain wallet, you can go ahead and click on select a currency. Once you click on select a currency, you want to copy that same address we got from BSC scan into here. And you just want to click on add and then click on the token. Once you guys do that, you want to change your slippage tolerance. Now, I do recommend using 12%. I do use 12% for a lot of these coins because there is a quick fluctuation in prices often. So you just want to make sure that you guys don't get charged fees a bunch of times for trying to put the transaction through. That's why I set my slippage tolerance to 12. Uh, and to change your slippage tolerance, you just want to go beside where it says exchange, where you see the three lines. Just go ahead and click on that. And then right here, you could go ahead and change your slippage tolerance. Now, I'm aware that it does work with less sometimes. It's just you take the risk of it not going through and paying fees multiple times. So it's up to you whether you guys want to do a little bit of a higher slippage tolerance the first time around to avoid paying fees multiple times, or if you want to put a lower slippage tolerance and see if it goes through to avoid paying uh, higher slippage tolerance. So it's up to you how you want to fluctuate with that. Uh, but like I said, I do recommend 12. So I'll just change this to 12 really quick. And then just click on the X button to exit out. Now all you have to do is decide how much BNB that you want to transfer over into the PEG token. So let's just say if I wanted to do 0.2, I can go ahead and type in 0.2 and it's going to show me how much PEG token I'll get in exchange for my 0.2 BNB. What you guys have to do at this point is you have to go to where it says insufficient BNB balance for me. It's just going to tell you here to swap. Once you guys click on that, it will show you another page showing you your withdrawal rates and your fees and things like that. So just make sure you guys understand the fees and the rates before you guys go ahead and confirm it. But if you understand everything and you're good with everything that you see there, you can go ahead and click on confirm for the swap. And then you could exit out of here and your Pegasus token will be in your wallets, usually within a couple minutes, depending on the liquidity and things like that. Anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys with showing you guys how to get this token. If this video does help you out, be sure to leave a like on it and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.